Hello, it's Ricardo, and welcome back to Battlestar Galactica Deadlock. Battlestar Galactica Deadlock is coming to the end of its Season 2, and with the end of Season 2 also comes the Modern Ships Pack. Yes, the Battlestar Galactica Deadlock Modern Ships Pack. Today we're going to be talking about the colonial heavy Battlestar, the Mercury. The most famous of which, of course, we all know as the Battlestar Pegasus that we saw in the Ron Moore realization of Battlestar Galactica. But is it any good? Let's take a look. So straight away I can tell you it's an impressive looking model from the modern ships pack. They've got it realized perfectly. Well done Black Lab Games and Slytherin for that. But what are the specs? Okay then. So straight off the bat, I can tell you it's got 10 forward guns around the front and the chin. It's 10 and seven guns on each flight pod. That's 24 armaments in total. Other specs include two missile seat silos and also two fighter bays with two support ship bays. That's for your Raptors and whatnot. In addition to that, the plating has been highly upgraded. It's designed for plowing straight into battle with front plating at 180, left and right at 140, back, top and bottom at 100 which differs quite extensively from its predecessor, the Minevra, which has front, left and right armour at 60, back armour at 45 with top armour at 45 and bottom armour at 60. And we know that it's got two fighter bays and two missile slots and is generally made of tissue paper, as I maintain. So one hell of an upgrade from the predecessor to the successor being the Mercury. But enough talk. What is the Mercury Heavy Battlestar like in battle? Let's take a look in skirmish mode. So let's take a look at its predecessor, the Minevra, and we'll put one of those on, right? So the Minevra is the predecessor to the post-war Mercury. There it is, it's confirmed. Um, and highlights a mark shift in Battlestar design. It wants raw firepower, despite being smaller than the Jupiter and less armoured than the Artemis, the Battlestar's aggressive turret placements on every sector has given the Minerva a reputation as an effective capital to ship, ship destroyer. I think it's made of tissue paper. I really do. Right, if you look at the Mercury, again it says, yes, it, it, would, have fought, it would have succumbed to the Cylon navigation virus, right? Two missile slots, two fighter slots, two support craft. The Minevra misses the two support craft. And that could be key, especially in missions like, um, like what we're gonna play, Demolition. Look at the Jupiter Mark II though, right? And the only difference really, when you think about it, from the loadout point of view, is it's missing a missile slot. I kinda would have thought the Mercury would have had a third missile slot or the ability to recycle Vipers, make their own Vipers over time, set a process going, construct your own Vipers. Anyway, that's just me being pedantic. So we're going to add a couple of them. Right, um, add another one. And we're going to add him in Evra, just for a little bit of compare and contrast. And we'll put that at the back so we know what it is. So at the 13,000 fleet points, can we add another one? Yeah. No problems. That's pretty, pretty well done. Right, so we've got our fleet. Uh, we're going to save that. Um, we, we, we will. And we're going to have a look at it in game. So... On the ionized map, let's continue. Let's say we're ready. Oh, whoa, hang on a minute. No, we're not. Um, let's go back. Let's put some Mark 7 Vipers in there. Can we afford to? Might have to ditch, have to ditch one because it all comes to cost. Anyway, well, let's just concentrate on the Mercury class. So it's going to populate the map for us. No problems there. Now, the Battlestars do have um, 
point defense in the form of flak on either side. Can't put any flak at the front though, or at the rear, so or at the bottom. So you've got to be really careful um, when opponents' missiles come in that you've kind of got your elevation right. You're kind of on a sort of level par, and the flak will just disperse the missiles. I found the Mercury class battle star to be quite, as you'd imagine, as a heavy battle star, slow, but god, they hit a big punch. So here we are, we've jumped in. Look at that. Right, so here are our battle stars, and you get a better idea if I just move that in there like that. I can't really move it out so far. Understood. But we'll have a look when we get into the the sequence. What have we got? So on the Mercury Battle Star, left and right armor at 140, the front 180. It's designed for charging right in. The rear's got a hundred and the top and bottom have got a hundred. Um, armor on the navigation, CIC and fire control. CIC is armored with 25. Navigation look, uh, an armory, tech bay, engineering all on 20. So where's our other ship we had? Minevra. How does that stack up against its older brother? Well, with the individual sections, 20, 20, 20, across the board, navigation to armory, CIC 25. Top and bottom on the Mercury has 100, so it's definitely lacking there. The rear has 100. If we look at the Mercury, it's definitely well armoured compared to the Minevra. Right, look, look at it. Minevra, 60, 60, 60, across the board. Left, front, and left, right, and front. 140, 140, 80. Yes, so that's either. what you're getting for your 2,800 command points, as opposed to the 1,800. You're getting an armoured tank. Right, so that's basically the stats. Um, let's select our battle group. Throw him forward, put a bit of boost on, let's get him into the fight. Alright, let's get him into the fight. Um, oh, launch all squadrons. End turn. So we want to get into a position where we can fight the ship. Now from the back, you can tell which is the Mercury, which is the Minevra. Look at the engine configuration. Very old war. Look at the engine configuration on that. Very new style. Those eight pods at the back, as opposed to the six you get on that. And of course, you only get four on a Jupiter. <clears throat> so we've got our pilots in the air. Um, let's select them pretty much like that and get them to select target. We'll say that one. We don't know what we're fighting yet, whether it's um, Colonial or Cylon. Well, end turn. Let's zoom in. Look at the Fighter model. Squadron is taking fire. There you go. Squadron on me. It's a nicely realised model. And of course, you've got the bottom flight pods ISF as well. confirms unit is hostile. Right, so we're going up against a colonial fleet. Um, that will be interesting. So let's do something and take it all out. Let's fight the ships uh, into that particular mode focus fire on that can get a target lock uh, and then fire munitions on that can get a target lock we're gonna have to get closer okay right of course you've got all this debris in the area as well okay so um, let's cancel that end turn let's plow on forward our fighters have moved in. We're taking sustained fire. Squadron has gone dark. We are losing squadrons left and right. So what we'll do, let's select our Raptor squadron, fire a rocket at that. <clears throat> um, assault Raptor, let's paint our target. I thought it was the Assault Raptor I selected. 
No, I definitely got an assault raptor. Did I not put an assault raptor on? Ah, oh, I did. There it is. Right, there he goes. Fire short range missile. Can't get a lock. Um, can we paint the target? Yeah, we'll paint the target. So if we paint the target, um, can't get a target lock. So we'll see what we can do. Other ships are now revealing themselves. Uh, can we get? Can we fire some missiles at them? Nope, there. Oh, do that Mercury. Let's fire some missiles at that. Let's see them all fire their missiles. That would be quite spectacular. End turn. So they're starting to open up now. There go our missiles. All our fire is being focused. Quite spectacular at the moment. Not sure I'm fussed on this pink nebula, to be honest with you. Um, end turn. Missiles incoming. We're firing, they're firing. Squadron has gone dark. I've lost the battle star already. One of our ships. Oh my god. Select everything. Focus fire. At anything. Let's enter and keep plowing in. Incoming. Squadron has gone Look dark. at all the guns at the bottom Extended silhouetted against the pink on each of the Marines flight pods. One of our ships. Just as Marines it blows up. One of our ships. I mean, loads of guns on the front. Can't quite see them. Let's have a look at the enemy ships. They might be a bit better for us. Yes. Look at all these door knockers underneath there. Perhaps you, can, you can't quite see them. There you go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I count. Eight on the front. We've got three on the bottom of the flight pod. Two at the top. No guns on the top here, look. Only on the flight pod and on the front. Hmm. A bit strange, isn't it? Um, let's take our boost off. Let's drop Monic our battle Commander. stars down. Have we got anything left? I wonder. Have we got anything left? Let's select our, our battle group. Can we fire any munitions? Out of range at the moment. Oh, there you are, look. We're all out of range. Um, let's select our group, move them around, drop them down, end turn. Marines have boarded one of our ships. So, so far, I've lost two Marines battle stars. I'm not doing ships. particularly well. They've got a flak screen on the go. See, they don't move very so far, even on. with a boost. Can we fire missiles? We can fire missiles. He's got a flak screen though, isn't he? Look at that. Um, <laughs> that one's gone. These three are still going though. Um, that one's gone as well. Right. Do it the old-fashioned way with guns. Let's see if the guns can rip through it. End turn. They're all opening up. Are we going to take one out? I think we are. He's gone. Minerva is taking damage. So we're going to put some flak on the left. See if we can soak up some of those missiles. Gonna swing the other two around. Get them into the fight. Can they fire anything? Not within the nebula. Right. All our squadrons are gone. 
<laughs> End turn. We're going to lose this. Reloading. Yep, it's gone. We're down Minerva to two. Is taking damage. But this doesn't mean that these are bad ships. It just means I'm particularly rubbish at skirmish mode. Um, I played the Cylon ships in the, the Cylon mode and was equal, equally rubbish. So the common yes, denominator Commander. here is, well, I'm rubbish. Can we fire at that Minerva? At least take that out. Minerva is taking Still one damage. ship has not revealed itself. But it's got a flak screen, so you know it's a battle star. We've lost a Minerva, sir. Oh, they've taken our Minerva out. We're down to one Mercury class ship. Right? Flak, right hand side. Um Okay. Get the tech bay on the repairs go. Underway. There's our flak on the Sub -system go. Subsystem repairs are complete. They're still firing. They're Hostile firing like the identified. bilio. Turrets. Are focusing on that. Just their... Their Mercury. Or their Minerva. So let's cancel that. Uh, turrets. Cancel. Focus fire. On that. Okay. That's nearly gone. End turn. Missiles incoming! There's going to be a massive collision. There's a bump. And we're finally out. But I wasn't in it to win it. I was in it to showcase the Mercury stuff class heavy battle star. And we're going to be able to do that now, what with photo mode. Let's view the replay. So straight off... Let's press escape. And a bit of pause. So, where's our fleet? There it is. There you go. Just look at it. It is a beast. With every sense of the word, right? Um, hit in photo mode. We can save the screenshot. Let's reset all the features there so we know what we're doing. Um, save a screenshot there. Very nice. You can see we've got the guns on the bottom. And on the top of the flight pod. There's the big door knockers look. If you can just make them out. And I think what we'll do, we'll mess around with the saturation of stuff and the exposure uh, let's brighten up look see there's there's your guns look at them one two on the chin one two one two three four one two three four look at that they got all the guns at the front is that eight guns? Eight guns it is. Eight guns on the front. That is crazy. Let's save that. That's a good picture. So, okay. There's the other fleet. Perhaps some better shots there of the armament. The model is fantastically realised. I do think they need support ships. That's how you're going to last the longest. One there to guard the entrance of your hangar deck. Three on the bottom. One on the back by here. Two on the top. Ten on the front. Ten! That's why there's so much armour on the front. Charge it straight in. Let the guns have a go. Job done. 
I still think it's missing an extra missile port. And perhaps that missile port could be for like support type missiles, like uh, jamming and that sort of stuff. But yeah, there you go. So that was a look at the Mercury Battle Stars, everybody. Um, see what we got here. Some slightly different angles. Let's run our auto cam. So there's our Vipers on the go. Ooh, there's some good shots there. Look at that. Squadron on me. First is nominal. So, all in all, I'm not disappointed with the Mercury class Battlestar in game. The model looks fantastic. Everything I think everyone could have wished for. It's certainly heavier armoured than its predecessor, the Minevra. It is lacking guns on the top and guns on the bottom, but those are overcompensated, I think, with what you've got on the flight pod. And then also the guns on the front, they do look fantastic. Graphically, the game looks brilliant. Photo mode in battle cam is a certain, it's a plus. It's definitely a plus there, right? Um, what else can I say? If you haven't got it and you weren't planning on getting it, I hope these videos have convinced you to take a punt on a game. It does come with an eight story uh, campaign as well. That brings the deadlock story arc to an end. Uh, and this is the end of season two. Will there be a season three? We don't know. We'll have to wait and see. I've been Ricardo and I've been talking about the Mercury. Heavy Battlestar, the Colonial Mercury Heavy Battlestar, the most famous of which has been the Pegasus. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Put some comments in. What do you think about the Mercury Battlestar? I'd be interested to know. Do you prefer the Minevra? Or is it the Jupiter 2 all the way, the Galactica type of Battlestar? Let me know in the comments. Launch those Vipers. So say we all, and I'll see you soon.